The best ways for the military to prevent mass casualty events on U.S. soil may be led by a group of four-legged officers. The U.S. Coast Guard K-9 teams are trained to sniff out bombs and other explosives on cargo vessels and large events on land. Dalin has more. Good. Good. See. Meet Buddha, a five-year-old German short hair pointer. He's constantly on the move. His nose is extremely strong and way stronger than a human's. Good job, buddy. Leading, exploring, and sniffing. His main function is explosive detection. So he can uh, detect a wide range of different explosives, and then he'll let me know once he's found it. Don't let those big fluffy ears fool you. His handler, U.S. Coast Guard Petty Officer First Class Chase Lammer, says Buddha is one of the best, always focused and disciplined. Buddha was named the 2023 American Humane Military Working Dog of the Year. Hi. You can pet him, he's very friendly. A big honor, but also big responsibilities for these Coast Guard K-9 teams. On a typical day, helicopters would drop them onto international cargo ships arriving at U.S. ports. Part of their job is to search and prevent terrorists from transporting bombs and other explosives into the country. Buddha, everything he does uh, revolves around his reward, which is a, a big squeaky tennis ball. So whether it's jumping out of helicopters, riding on boats, or uh, doing explosive detection sweeps, um, basically anywhere this ball goes, Buddha goes. Oh, the teams are also in high demand for non-maritime work. They'll work at the Super Bowl and other major events to deter domestic terrorism. There's only 18 dogs in the entire Coast Guard, so we travel the country, both East Coast, West Coast, and in between. It's hard work, and it's teamwork. Right here, Buddha. The handlers say they and the canines form unbreakable bonds. We're the sole caretakers for them, so once we're done working, we'll always bring them home with us. Uh, one thing that's big with our program, our philosophy is one dog, one handler. Buddha. For Chase and Buddha, not only are they best friends, they're family. He's a great family dog as well, not just a working dog. Um, he's great with my wife. We have a, a new son on the way in January, so he's excited to be a, a big brother to our new son. Buddha is about halfway through his deployment. The handlers say canines on average serve the country for about eight to nine years, basically during their prime years, and then they retire.